Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Serena Williams gets worst news of her life after throwing her career behind Kaepernick. Serena Williams is one of the world's best tennis players. However, as of late, she has also been highly active in civic activism. In particular, she threw her support behind Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick is the famous San Francisco 49ers quarterback who started the controversy of kneeling for the national anthem during football games. Now he is in a Nike advertisement alleging that he sacrificed everything to do what was right to protest social inequality. Williams supports Kaepernick's position on kneeling during the anthem. After Williams' recent tennis performance it makes sense why she is mad. She had allied herself with people she should not have. And now she is experiencing what seems to be negative karma as a result. Chicks on the Right reported. It's the big controversy of the night. Serena Williams lost the US Open final, but it all really started after chair umpire Carlos Ramos accused her of cheating. Most notably, it came after Williams screamed at chair umpire Carlos Ramos after she was docked a point penalty for two code violations, illegal coaching from the stands and smashing her racket, in the second set. Williams was then docked a game penalty for a third code violation verbal abuse after calling Ramos a thief over the first violation. At the time she was down a break, 4-3, in the second set. The penalty made it 5-3 in favor of Osaka. Williams won the next game on her serve to cut it to 5-4. Osaka then closed at the championship on her serve. Here's how she reacted after the first accusation, one thing I've never done is cheat. If he gives me a thumbs up, he's telling me to come on. We don't have any code, and I know you don't know that. And I understand why you may have thought that was coaching, but I'm telling you it's not. I don't cheat to win. I'd rather lose, she said. It all went downhill from there. She demanded an apology and everything. This is unbelievable, she told Ramos. Every time I play here, I have problems, I didn't get coaching. I didn't get coaching. I didn't get coaching. You need to make an announcement that I didn't get coaching, she said. I don't cheat. I didn't get coaching. How can you say that? You owe me an apology. You owe me an apology. I have never cheated in my life. I have a daughter, and I stand for what's right for her. I've never cheated. You owe me an apology. You will never do another one of my matches. After that, Ramos gave Williams a third violation for verbal abuse. Are you kidding me? Williams said. Because I said you're a thief? Because you stole a point from me. But I'm not a cheater. I told you to apologize to me. After the game. Williams accused Ramos of being sexist. I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality and for all kinds of stuff, she said. For me to say thief, and for him to take a game, it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. He's never taken a game from a man because they said thief. Alrighty then. Wow, 10 minutes later, the trophy presentation. More crowd boos. Osaka pulled her black visor down as tears continued to stream. Williams put her right arm around Osaka and her left hand on Osaka's elbow. She said a few words to Osaka as the 20-year-old wiped away a tear. Osaka smiled. I felt at one point bad because I'm crying and she's crying, Williams said in the later press conference. You know, she just won. I'm not sure if they were happy tears or they were just sad tears because of the moment. I felt like, wow, this isn't how I felt when I won my first Grand Slam, in 1999. I was like, wow. I definitely don't want her to feel like that. Yeah, maybe it was the mom in me that was like, listen, we got to pull ourselves together here. She addressed the crowd too, I don't want to be rude, but I don't want to do questions, Williams said. I just wanted to tell you guys, she played well, and this is her first Grand Slam. Crowd applause, and I know you guys were here rooting, and I was rooting, too. But let's make this the best moment we can, and we'll get through it. Let's give everyone the credit where credit's due. Let's not boo anymore. We are going to get through this, and let's be positive. So congratulations, Naomi. No more booing. I hope to continue to go and play here again. We'll see. It's been a tough year for me, she added. Twitter has hashtag all the feelings. As a result of her actions Williams was fined. Several of which were very expensive. Williams was charged a total of dollar exclamation mark 7 comma which include $10,000 for verbal abuse of an umpire. $4,000 for a coaching violation, and $3,000 for racket abuse. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.